Hi, this is Jackie, the West Park Public Library Ask a Genealogist staff person. Today I have a sweet, small, helpful hint, I hope, for you. Now this does happen quite frequently to people where you end up with having more than one record. It's supposed to be the same information, but ends up being not the, not the same. So what do you do when those two records contradict each other? You apply genealogical rules of evidence. And there are quite a few of those. A lot of them are just rules of, of thumb. Um, basically, you study the two records that are giving you the conflict. And you determine whether either of them are a primary source. That is, they are the source for the particular piece of information that um, is in conflict. For instance, you might have a census record that has a birth year of about 1854, but you have an actual birth certificate that says it's 1853 on the 31st of December. So you take the record that is the primary for that particular piece of information and give it a little extra weight. The other thing that happens if the if the, one of them isn't a primary source and they're both equal, you should study the two records and find out who has created them and when they were created. For instance, you give a little extra weight to a record created by the person about themselves or a record that's created closest to the event that's under question. And then as you broaden it out, you have to determine, are there other records which support either of the two opposing records? In this case, PhD is what you're going to be doing. You pile it higher and deeper. Um, more is always more uh, in genealogy. So collect more data, collect as many records as you possibly can find that bear on that conflict. Um, also study the relatives, go sideways. Um, sometimes the brothers and sisters know more than your line. And then what I, what I have done is I'll make a list of these are the things that the records that support this particular position and these are the records that support this particular position. And the one that has the most support is usually the correct one. But if you find that you still can't resolve this issue, uh, please consider signing up for an Ask a Genealogist one-on-one -on -one session at the West Fargo Public Library website, or drop an email to jackie.marler at westfargomd.gov. Good luck and happy ancestor hunting. <laughs>